episode 99 and the curtain comes down on this save football manager 19 if you've made it through all 99 episodes thank you very much if you've just tuned in thank you very much um well i screwed up leave it to episode 99 to screw the pooch but uh, you can see i already played bolton we end the season in a great run of form um we shock manchester united franashini with a brace lloyd lloyd with a goal steve witt our former player gets one back to make it interesting uh moments after franashini scored his second uh, to make it three to two we held on Aston Villa, we let this one get away. We had two goals by Franaschini, and then Dolberg and Brewster <coughs> scored. Uh, Dolberg's a guy, I've never had him on any one of my clubs, but he's a guy that uh, in 18, for sure, I was always looking at, but I could never afford him, you know? And I, uh, So, anyway. 2-2 uh, draw. Then Chelsea, top of the table, uh, when we played them. Uh, Franaschini with another goal. Morgan Harris, Brendan Taylor got goals. Sergio Gomez got two penalties and Del Delight or Delit uh, with a 59th minute goal. Put them up 3 2. Taylor with the equalizer. Uh, we were happy with that. Burnley, we should have won. Franaschini got the equalizer. He's been real hot down the stretch. He scored again in the 1 0 win over Huddersfield. And then uh, Bolton. Declan Rice, Brendan, Brendan Taylor with a brace. Danny Olmo got goals. Uh, Franaschini did not score. Uh, he sucks. And we end the season with West Ham. Uh, the, their manager's been talking about how we've been overachieving. Speaking of, we are currently in sixth position. Three points up on Leicester. Losing on goal differential by nine. 20 win season. Oh, uh, the 11 losses killed us. If we could find a way to get some more draws, I think we could get close to that. But just the fact that we're cracking the top six uh, is huge because we finished seventh uh, last year or two years ago when we qualified for Europa League. So Franaschini was uh, 10 goals last episode. He's on 17 now for the league. And we need one freaking point to qualify sixth. Leicester finishes up with Chelsea, top of the table. So they do not have an easy match. Uh, we, of course, are playing who? Huddersfield. Huddersfield are fighting relegation. They do have something to play for. Uh, a win or even a point with an Aston Villa loss gets them, or even an equal, if they can somehow get goal differential back up, uh, helps them. So they're playing to, to, to stave off relegation. Everton at 16th. Uh, let's see, West Ham at 9th. Um, <laughs> one thing happened. Uh, early on, right? Uh, in fact, right before the Man United match, this was right after the last episode, Man City contacted me a, about an interview. They actually offered me an interview. Uh, so, or I, I got an email. I got the email saying, you know, hey, how do you feel being linked to the Manchester City job? I went and looked. They weren't even on the list yet on the job search board. Uh, they had just fired their manager that day, which was uh, April 16th or, uh, and, uh, or March 16th. I don't remember. But, uh, you know, of course I said, hey, you know, who wouldn't like being linked to such a high-profile job? They, re they offered me an interview, and I took it. And in the course of the interview, they said, you know, would you be able to start now? And I said, you know, there's only a handful of games left in the season. I'd like to wait till the start of the new season, finish out this year with my current club, you know, and see what we could do. And uh, I was the front runner. 
when when the email came out, you know, and then I, then I got the email that the fans considered me the front runner. And then after the interview, I was still the front runner. And then they didn't offer me the job. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had that happen. If I was actually listed as the favorite, usually you get the job. But they, uh, who did they end up going with? It, not that it matters, but uh, Thomas Kruken from Germany. Uh, take a look at their head coaches. So let's see. Yeah, Vincento. March 16th. So Vincento Montella, after just over a year, he won two cups and he got sacked. And then Thomas Kruken comes in. Uh, he's been at the helm for 39 days. Um, let's see. He was the interim head coach. Okay, so he was the interim head coach for him. So fair play. Under 23. So he's, he's in their system. So, okay, that makes a little more sense. But isn't it odd? He's never been a head coach before. He's never been a senior club head coach. That's interesting. Four three. Is he still? Because that name doesn't sound familiar. That doesn't sound familiar. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, and I think Jurgen Klopp is uh, in trouble with Arsenal. But he may be in trouble. Uh, Arsenal, I don't know why. I mean, they qualified for Champions League. They were four points off of the lead. Very close race in the league this year, in the Premier League. All right, well, let's get to it. So I've already, uh, unfortunately, I already played uh, Bolton. So we're going to finish off with West Ham. We'll do a series wrap-up. Uh, this will be our last season uh, at West, uh, West Brom. Uh, we will be starting a new save. Um, I'm having some second thoughts. I've been doing some research on the country uh, or, or the continent that I was looking at doing a journeyman in. And I'm not sure. I've got a question posted over at the... Uh, on the forums, uh, there is a there is a um, database. I just need to see if it's ready, uh, which it doesn't appear to be. So we may just have to go with what's in the game, and that's okay. But let's get into our final match here at West Brom. It would be nice to qualify for Champions League, uh, and you know we'll ju we'll just end the save. I won't resign or anything. It'll just be. You know, end of save. Uh, we are favorites at home. It is gusty. I have brought back in my 4-4-2 with the double volante. All right, Rice. I really don't want... You know what? I'm going to put Harris in. Yeah, Morgan Harris. We're going to play him in the last game here. Uh, I am going to put Malone in for March. And let's get to it. What's going on, Piper? She's all freaking out because nobody's here. It's just me. All right, pick up where you left off, which was a 4-0 win. Come on, boys. Let's end on a high note. Malone, over to Harris. Bad ball. Like the idea. Sucked on the execution. Get creative. All right, Harris brings it down. Oh, he lays it off. El Amrani, Rice, plays it back to Hecker. They're going backwards. All right, there's a ball into Taylor. Oh, Rice misses it. All right, Hecker with some space. Crossed in. Taylor puts it over the goal. West Brom, West Ham, nil-nil after 14 minutes. Put 
push forward. They're frustrated. Oh, into Franaschini, Rice. Oh, nice head down by Tuati. Into Taylor, laid back to Harris. Rice, taken down hard. El Amrani comes and gets the ball, gets it back up into the attacking end. Hecker plays it across. They are, they are parking the bus back there on, as it looks like. There's a lot of bodies back there. Oh, my God. All right, deep ball to Hecker. Crossed in. Taylor puts it over again. Oh, get creative again. All right, 6-0 on shot, 7-0. We're losing possession, but... I think most of their possessions on the back half. Four on target, but no chances. Ugh. Ooh, revenge. Most definitely in the cards. They like revenge, boy. I tell you, revenge is always a good go to if it's available. All right, eight. Get creative. Morgan Harris picks up a yellow. Six, five. Everybody's playing well. Let's go ahead and pull Harris off. Let's put uh, Danielle in there. Jeremy Williams, nah. Would like to get Pat March in there. Let's go ahead and put him in for uh, for Malone. All right, Taylor back to Harris. Danny Olmo, there it is, number seven on the season. So of course we'll do the season wrap up. We'll look at final stats. We'll look at uh, the fans choice awards and all that other stuff. Oh, that's big. Nice tackle. Goes right to Vernon. I think that's our former player. Oh, I got to go vote on that. Uh, it's a baseball league that I'm in. Uh, we use uh, out-of-the-park baseball. And uh, I need to vote for the Hall of Fame. Oh, we work them all the way back to the keeper. Oh, that was a nice ball. He's got some space. Oh, nice through ball to Holloway. He sneaks it past our keeper. Oh, my God. Um, all right, yeah. Ugh, that was not good. Demand more. Bastards. Come on, boys. 13 to 1 on shots and we're tied. All right. Uh Hecker. I'm going to put Flores. And then defensive left. Let's move Nichols outside. Flores into the center. Push forward. Well, the point, the point secures it for us, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Even if they got a win, we'll still end up one point. But it was disappointing. We should have won that match. We dominated them. I would I would dare say we got FM'd. Chelsea win the Premier League. Oh, now we're linked with Arsenal. Well. Yeah, I'm not in a position to answer that because it doesn't really matter. 
46 million dollars for sixth place so we've cracked the top six we qualify for Europa for the second time in my tenure I think that is excellent let's take a look here all right so we started in infield town seven seasons there well six six and a little moved to Barnett we had two two and a partial remember we took over that year and they were in relegation and we saved them from relegation uh, finished second got promoted and then won uh, in the next year uh, eighth seventh tenth sixth two Europa Leagues manager of the month once manager of the month once I haven't won anything this year uh, maybe we'll get uh, maybe we will get manager of the year probably not all right let's take a look at the squad all right, so appearances, uh, Russell Evans, actually let's do, yeah, that's not with our, our club. Peter Douglas played 40 matches, uh, Franaschini 37 with one relief, 19 goals for Franaschini. So that's the most that I've scored with a single player in fm19 and that's saying something because in fm18 i had some 40 goal seasons i mean we had you know 30 and 40 goal seasons uh you know we had some lights out performances so really struggling to find my way here um i mean you know 19 goals in 37 that's a one in two can't can't be disappointed in that right but, you know, the fact that we don't have anybody else in double figures and Malone five and eight starts and what he had the hat trick in one game. So that, you know, that pulls him out. March only ended up with two and 14 starts and he had one in his first match. Chikwuma one in six, nine, nine relief appearances. He just never found his rhythm this year. Oh, boy. All right, well, let me get up to the uh, awards, and I will be back in a minute. Okay, well, I did win English Premier League Manager of the Year. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, $130 million for salary and one fifty three. Not a big deal. I mean, you know, we probably wouldn't even spend that much. We're up to one twenty seven. All right, so, yeah, Manager of the Year, boys. That's the way to go out. Europa, second time. Manager of the year in the Premier League. I would say that's a successful season, and I think we've got West Brom, you know, right on that cusp of being in competition. Franaschini inducted into the overall best 11. All right, Brendan Taylor, fans player of the season. Only 37%, though. Franaschini with the goal of the season. Giannone signing of the season and then he lost his job young player of the season Aguilera six in the premier four to two win over Arsenal back in October a 5-1 loss to Chelsea uh, a week later 89 percent capacity a lot of that was uh early you know when we were playing you know Carabao Cup and nobody showed up uh, 33 players, highest in the premier. That's typical for me. Locker room, leadership support, excellent. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to win. I think we're at the point that we can start to expect to win. 
Europa or qualify for Europa. Good. The board tells me I am untouchable. Again, I'm not going to continue this, but uh, let's take a look at uh, dynamics. I don't look at this. I mean, I look at it. I don't show it a lot. You guys never ask to see it. Uh, so 27 support, 3 no opinion, no opposition. So who doesn't even think about me? Giannone, he's upset he lost his position. McDonald, because he feels I broke my promise. And Lloyd Lloyd never really played. I'm going to call that a successful season and a successful career. Uh, let's see. Do we have any... My profile... Well, we've certainly raised it. We're at three and a quarter stars, six million dollars under contract for four more years. Uh, Matty Holmes, Stephen Broccoli. Uh, Broccoli got uh, he he got fired, and uh, he is now eligible as a general manager. I don't remember him. Kake. He's a head coach. I don't remember him. Oh, I had him at Barnet. That's why I don't remember him. I, I, oh, where did I go? Pro, uh, home profile? There we are. Uh, McPherson, Andy Hunt. Worst opinion, Hayden Bird, the head coach at Hearn Bay. Maybe when he was at Bromley? Or Mirthsome? Maybe Mirthsome. Uh, well, I have no idea who that is. Uh, let's see. The door's always open. Yeah, I, I, you know, I never really got outside of England for scouting knowledge. Do we have uh, records? Let's look around. Promises, relationships, yeah. History overview, here we go. So three clubs. Uh, I was offered the England job, remember, I turned it down. Longest time at one club was 2,434 days. That would have been with Enfield Town. 674 would have been with Barnett. Barnett. Eight awards, made uh, almost $11 million, 4,341 days of game time. Uh, a lot of vacation, like right there, here down the stretch. If I had like 12 days between games, I'd go on vacation to the next match. Just, you know, I hate cl clicking continue that much. Uh, but yeah, I don't skip games, but that is, that is the, uh, I do you know, spin forward there. All right. Uh, bought 120 players for 414 million. Sold 81 players for 520 million. Isaac Nichols this year was the highest fee at 33 and a half. Uh, we got 45 and a half for Ling Kung Pang. Uh, that was a couple of years ago. 68 players released. 86 club wins. 28 draws, 53 losses in 167 games for West Brom Albion. 296 goals for, 215 against, plus 81 goal differential, 51%, no silverware. We did get two promotions overall, 592 uh, total games. 297 on the wins, 113 draws, 182 losses, a win percentage of 50%, plus 285 goal differential, 1,118 goals. I'm happy with that. There's the job history. Manager of the year, head coach of the year. Excellent. Milestones. Hey, I'm pretty happy with how this went. Uh, notebook. I don't think I have anything in there. All right, guys. Well, we are going to end it here.
thank you again for you know whether you watched one or 99 episodes of this uh much appreciated uh god i'm thinking 99 episodes there's my calculator 99 episodes times 30 minute average divided by 60 so almost 50 hours 49 and a half hours of football manager content just in this save and there's more to come more to come so yeah what i'm going to do now is just go back into my research uh figure out where i want to play get that set up i may miss a day or two uh for uploading remember football manager for me is monday wednesday friday uh this one probably goes up friday uh i am going to be out of town this weekend I don't know. I, I, today's only you know today's only Tuesday. I went ahead and did a marathon. I did three three episodes today. Uh, Arsenal fired Klopp and he qualified for Europa. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Wow. Raging Cajun, the leader in the clubhouse. Um, I'm not going after that job. This save's done um but yeah so may not miss an upload if i do it may only be one day i just have to try you know i want to see if i can get this database and then uh i got to figure out where i want to play of course i only need the database if i play where i'm thinking about so anyway thank you again guys much appreciated as always means a lot that you drop by my channel and look at anything uh you know, I don't take that for granted, and, and I do appreciate it. So thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys uh, in the new save. Yes. Talk to you later. Bye.